Hey everybody, Matt Cover here again from HowToBecomeARaceCarDriver.com and in this video we're going to talk about rotational inertia. Now we touched on this briefly in a video recently called Types of Engine Drag and we were talking about some internal components of the motor which kind of deal with this but we're going to talk about a couple other things that we didn't touch on in that video. So let's go ahead and hop right in on rotational inertia. I think as a general rule, I think it's probably safe to say that if it's on your race car and it spins, I think really the ultimate goal is to make that spinning thing accelerate, okay? But here's the problem with that. Picture for a second, if you will, okay, you have a bowling ball, which is just sitting on the floor, and you reach down with one hand, kind of give it a good palm, and just give it a spin, and then just kind of let it spin on the floor there, okay? Okay. Now I want you to do the same thing with a baseball, okay? It's pretty obvious that the bowling ball is a lot harder to start spinning than the baseball. It's because it has uh, more rotational inertia. It takes more energy to spin something that weighs more or is bigger. And I guess in that case, the bowling ball is both of those things, okay? And the problem with that is that inside your motor, it well, let me go back a second. Your motor is only capable of producing a certain amount of power. And if uh, that power is being used to try and accelerate heavy components on your car. Let's say you have really heavy steel wheels. Okay, Part of the power from that motor is just being wasted trying to get those wheels to start turning faster. It's the same concept. And there are a ton of things on your car uh, which uh, are just robbing power from the, from the engine. So let's, I mean, let's, we'll put that on the list. There's wheels. Uh, we can talk about the crankshaft. That's a big one. Uh, a huge one is flywheels, and I'm just going to put a clutch under that because those are really heavy assemblies uh, typically. And, I mean, you've got brake rotors on the outside and uh, pretty much all the components inside the transmission. And I guess along the same line, you've got the, the drive shaft. Okay, so you can see there are a lot of things on your car that uh, require power to just... Even if they're already, even if they're already spinning, it takes a lot of power to get them moving faster, and that's well, pretty much what you want when you're trying to accelerate your car. So a lot of your engine power is going to just getting these things to move faster. Unfortunately, there isn't a whole lot you can do about them. Okay, really, the only thing you can do is reduce as much weight as possible, because less inertia equals more power that is available to actually propel the car forward. The faster you can get all your components accelerating, well, then the faster your car will accelerate as well. Not a difficult concept to understand. There isn't a lot you can do. You notice that most of these things are internal components, so you know in a street category, you can't change them anyway, but in autocross, you can certainly find lighter wheels. That's a big one, and uh, I think beyond that, it's probably not worth spending the money or the effort or anything like that, okay? So just something you have to be aware of, rotational inertia and what it does. If you're in a full-fledged racing category, then oh yeah, hope you have some money because reducing weights inside the motor and all that other stuff, it costs a small fortune, and that's why guys that have most money always win. No, I shouldn't say always usually, but that definitely helps. All right, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say about rotational inertia. Just a little concept you can stick on the back burner. Why don't you go ahead and click this little box down in the corner. That'll take you right to the YouTube page. You can subscribe there and make sure that you get a little notification every time a new one of these videos comes out. I'm Matt Covert. I'll be back soon from howtobecomearacecardriver.com with another free video.